Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Gerard Green. Man, I haven't said it in a long time, so allow me to reintroduce myself. You can still call me Gerard. I also go by Musa. You're probably like, what? In the 2009? Uh, it's been a long time. It has been. This is like a documentary of, of, of like my journey. I started um, my lock journey in 2007, 2007, 2007, 2008. And through my lock journey, I started a YouTube channel, this YouTube channel. And through this YouTube channel, I made some of my best friends, literally, through hair. Isn't that crazy? And over the years, I have, um, I've had a number of supporters, a number of friends, um, who have been with me every step of the way through the highs and the lows um, of my life. In 2015, I cut all my hair off. And I thought that's what I had to do um, in order to go out into the real world. Maybe a month later, I, I regretted it, even though I lied. I was like, I don't regret it. You know, it's time to move, it's time to change, it's time to move on. I was lying to all of y'all. I shaved my head bald. And then I went through the taper fade uh, phase of my life. And then in 2017, I started a second set of locks and they were with the undercut, not these. I'm gonna show you a picture of them. They just, uh, my best friend Abel would make fun of me. So this set, I started in 20, 2019, 2020, I think, I don't know. The, the years run together because of this pandemic. I always said that if I could find my my old set, my first set of locks, I would reattach them. So I bagged my hair up and I gave it to my mother and I asked her to keep it safe, um, you know, just in case. So throughout my lock journey, I'd always been um, just pretty vocal about, you know, not reattaching your locks and all that stuff, but it's your hair. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You know, something about having like a full head of locks just just um, something I kind of, I've been, you know, yearning for, you know, like yearning for, yearning for? You know, it just so happened. Hmm. What are these? I have never been to a loctician before. I've had someone retwist. The, um, the first person to play in my hair was the person who started my locks. And then I had a friend, a homegirl, she started, she retwisted my locks once, but, I never let anybody play in my hair, you know? And so my best friend was like, hey, you should let somebody install those, you know, professionally. And I'm like, I appreciate that, but I don't know about that. First of all, it's expensive. And you might be like, well, you know, you, you know, if you can't afford it, maybe. But I think that. Gas pocket, sorry. I think I want to do it for myself. I think I want to try to install my own lock. I started these myself and I love them. You know, I love them, but. I'm an impulsive person. I did it, um, all 44 of them. It's so pretty, man. <laughs> I like them so much. A little brush, man. Um, these, uh, my, these are my, my pandemic locks, you know what I'm saying? Like, these, <laughs> these are pandemic locks, bro, you know? Like, seen a lot. Um, seen a lot of relationships come and go. That was a, my first set did too, but you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. so we'll see. Ooh, I think we might have something there. Put a little, wear a beanie. They'll, they'd never know. They would never, oh, I can make a TikTok out of this. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? To be continued. Oh, that's a nice little bang. So this will be the part that I unravel. Um, so just, let's just just going in with this uh, crochet hook. It's like a 0. 0.75 millimeters. So I did a lot of interlocking whenever I um, maintain my locks. And so I'm gonna show you something kind of gross. So 
don't know if you can see it, but it's a lot of it's a lot of build up in here. So I'm gonna give it an apple cider vinegar rinse. Right now I'm just picking at the knots. It's coming out pretty pretty nicely. I don't want to tear too much, so I'm trying to be careful. I'm already disturbing the lock. Well, it was the third one I cut it out of my head quite as kept. I don't want to tear the hairs too much. Just trying to get, find the knot and just grooving on out, you know what I'm saying? somewhere yeah so I had 120 um, and this is 80 so I did the same thing for 80 of these various sizes various lengths a lot of two-headed and three-headed dragons because they started to combine look at that I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut that bad boy off right there because he ain't gonna make it I got one in here that I named Kanye we're gonna watch these we gonna uh, detox them, as the people say, and we gonna uh, try to make it do what it do. Talks my locks that much when I had them. So I put lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and some baking soda. I'm gonna leave it in there for like 30 minutes, rinse them out, and then do it again. All right, people. So this is how short my hair is. And you know, it's the back. Main thing I'm really concerned about is the slippage. Um, that's like an inch and a half, I guess, if that. Um, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I'm just tired of looking like Susie Stickers. That's what I look like. There's no such person as Susie Stickers. This is what me and my best friend say. But you can see the grays. Look at that. <sighs> Y'all, your boy different. The boy getting older, man. <laughs> Not that little. I'm that little hot young thing that y'all that y'all met in 2009, man. Shoot, boy got bills these days, car notes, easy credit ripoffs, scratching and surviving. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I sectioned off my hair with the help of my partner, and I already got the first row in. They pretty secure, but I'm still kind of kind of nervous. I don't know what I got myself into, but see y'all on the other side, man. <laughs> All right, so I had to, I had to go to work. So my head is like halfway done. It's sectioned off. I just got, <laughs> I look crazy, but this is where I am right now. We almost there. Halfway done. So now with what I'm doing now is just combing, combing this part out of the tip or the, the part that I'm gonna attach. Um, and it, it's pretty, it works pretty well. Um, so just combing that out, I'm gonna comb that out, I'm gonna pick it out rather. And then I'm going to um, comb it out and then mesh it with my hair. Hopefully I'm, I'm gonna try to do this on camera. I come from a different era, you know, like the Cheska Locks, Cheska Lee era, you know what I'm saying? Like. Zaylox, Zaylox 23, like I remember them, you know. Um, so many people I, I definitely want to shout out, um, you know, that I started with when I started mine. I think that's enough. It's enough. I'm gonna get one more just for. Oh, so that's it right there. Can y'all see that? Um, 
So, look at them grays, y'all. Look at them grays. Can y'all see it? All right. So, that one right there. We're going to do that one. Take the rubber band off. Let me get up in there for y'all. Sorry. Excuse it. See that right there? So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna kind of overlap it because I want some of my hair to uh, to mesh into the solid part of the lock. So I'm gonna put it about right there. I kind of wrap my hair around the lock, right, like that. Then I just take the needle, I just stab it, just trying to mesh it in with my hair. Can you see? I know my fingers in a way, but you'll see in a second. So I'm just doing that like a, you know, 137 million times. That's the number. Just when you start, when you stab your locks, you gotta stab it 137 million times now. And as I'm as I'm stabbing it, I'm rolling it, I'm rolling the lock, forming the lock with my fingers. And I'm being careful because I hate getting stabbed by this thing. That's probably why I take why it take me so long. Because I know some people probably some probably like do it faster because they used to getting stabbed. I don't like that feeling. I don't, I'll never I'll never like that feeling. So as you see, it's it's starting to form. I'm just, I'm just stabbing and rolling, stabbing, rolling, stabbing, roll, stabbing, roll. That's pretty good. Let me get them strays right there. Look at that. So yeah, I'm, I might, I gotta, I gotta smooth out that part because that's, that's where the lock was combined. So there's a lock. So what I'm gonna do is take these three locks and make them one, all right? First thing I did was I, I, I used this crochet hook, which I used to, this is a 0.5, you know, I know you do that. It's a 0.5 uh, hook that I've been using to, 0.5 millimeter hook that I've been using to reattach my hair. Um, 0.75 only, for me only works with the bigger locks because um, it's a bigger hook. Um, but I'm gonna come, so this is how I started off. So every lock I did, like, I just pick out the, the lock to get like this little frayed part, you know, like an inch or so. And I usually attach that to my head. But for this one, I'm going to combine these locks to make one. So I'm not good at doing it on camera, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to uh, make try to make this, make this shit pop. Uh, it has been a tedious experience and I don't, I don't regret anything. I, well, if I will say one thing I regret is starting in the middle, uh, well, the middle of the week because you need a weekend. Um, and if you're doing it by yourself and if you don't know what you're doing like me, uh, you need a weekend. But I will say the hair is in there. Like it's definitely in there. Um, <laughs> the hair is definitely in there, but I'm also being very careful with it because I don't, you know, um, I don't want it to slip out um doing any activity or anything the only other thing is that because i'm not used to having long hair um it is kind of a nuisance right now um like it itches the back of my head the back of my neck i'm sorry uh, so right now i'm just i'm sorry right now i'm uh just picking this lock out now this lock has some build up in the middle i'm not ashamed about it because it's my hair shit um Y'all, if y'all know me, if y'all follow my channel, subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, you know, I'm never one of those dudes that, that like ever like cared about uniformity and stuff like that, or like deep retwists and retwisting every week and all that stuff. Um, and I may have even, you know what, I may have even told y'all some things that, that, uh, was wrong, you know, because I never, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a lactation, so. Um, I don't know. Um, I can't tell you all the ways that you should do your locks, but for me, me growing healthy locks, you know, was just, um, drinking water, making sure my, my hair is, 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 um, um, let's just say well lubricated, but you know, like make sure it's moisturized, um, and taking care of it. And I don't always take care of my hair. You know, I, I've I've never, any locks that I've lost, I've tried to put them back in, but now I know how to put locks in the the, the correct way. You know, there's, I guess there's no real correct way. 
Um, I thought I was going to have some type of spiritual, like, you know, uh, mission. I'll put this up behind my ear like a blunt. Um, <laughs> I, I thought I was going to have some type of spiritual, like, you know, um, recommitting of my locks to my hair, to my head. So now I'm taking, so look, let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm taking these two and I'm a marry. I'm going to overlap them slightly. Yeah. And then let the frayed ends, I'm going to marry those into, um, this may work. <laughs> um, I'm going to make one lock to go on the side. I have to go to work. And I can't be sitting here playing in my hair like this. Um, for this, I should use the 0.75 because it grabs more hair. But instead, I'm just going to stab myself in the, in the finger multiple times with this very, very sharp needle. Um, very, very, very sharp needle. But once I get it done, I can show you what it looked like. It's what it looked like. Shout out to Tiffany Haddish. Um, so, uh, I, I'm I'm excited to be doing this this starting this my lock journey over. Um, you might ask, well, why you why do you want to put your hair back in your head? Um, there's no spiritual answer. Like I just wanted to. I liked, you know. Aesthetically, I like having long hair. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to like, like it's a it's a bit of a gap right there. I'm just trying to fill it in by like stabbing myself repeatedly, and and this, and while I'm doing it, I'm like, sorry. I'm, now I got a long way to go, but I'm just kind of molding it by rolling it between my fingers. It's not secure. All right, every little part that's still weak right there. Like I I could pull that and it would still come apart. So I got to really work on that. Matter of fact, let me go get that. All right, I'm back. Uh, stab that. Pull some of that hair out, and then I'm gonna put it back in. So I'm just continually doing this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this done, and then show you the finished product. Okay, so my hair is completely uh, done. I'm gonna show you um, the final product. Shout out to uh, my boy Andy Batiste who made this tam for me. Uh, like shit. Uh, 10 years ago, I guess. It's been a long time. But anyway, um, it's dry. I'm gonna, I'm about to go to bed. So I'm gonna, um, I'm going to give it a little spritz and then cover it up for bed. Um, yeah, man, I can't believe that I attached all of my locks. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little story, okay? So for those of you who don't know, um, nah, that's not important. Uh, but anyway, let me show you. So they're not all even. Some of them are, are smaller. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So this is my hair. This is my hair. Uh, it's in there. It's it's definitely. Let me show you. Mm. That's a lot of hair to put on a head that hasn't had locks in a long time. So, um, when I was parting it, um, my my fiance, um. I said I wanted 80 squares, and uh, long story short, I ended up with 160 squares, but at least all my squares are even, so it's kind of fuzzy. I had to retwist it. Um, I'm gonna wait a little while before I retwist. Some of them are crinkly still. Um, here's the back. I hope, it's, hope you got a good good view. I can't, I'm gonna try to do a link check in a little bit, but anyway, um, that's it. Um, See how close this is pretty seamless. Um, look at that gray right there, y'all. Hey, it is what it is. This is it. Um, my hair. We got it. We got to get it back to to health, man. This some of the locks are really dry, but we gonna get there. We gonna get there. I ain't gonna spray too much. I don't wanna saturate it because I don't wanna put a lot of tension on my scalp while I'm, you know, letting the knots settle, if you will. But my, my my hair is already it's liking it's liking the moisture that I'm putting on it right now. So we back we back. It's my town. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put my uh I got a lock sock and I can't find this. It's somewhere in this house. I have to buy another one. This thing is too tight to put on my head to sleep with. It's not comfortable. Um, sell lock socks. You know, please hit me up. I will purchase one from you. Um, again, not and not to shade small businesses, local businesses. Um, um, local businesses. There aren't any local businesses here in this town that 
<laughs> make products, but any small businesses, if you have products, I'm more than happy to purchase them. Just, you know, send me information, put it down in the comments below. And um, thank you to the lot community for embracing your boy. It's going through all these transitions. I think I'm gonna keep these, you know, I think this is it for me for a while, you know, um, I love changing it up, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this because I definitely, I've, uh, I miss my hair, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, some of them are blonde, some of them are brown. That's what I was going through at the time. I, I like I like my that my hair is in uniform. Like I like that, you know what I'm saying? But after the, the next wash, the the crinkles will will uh will definitely go away. So anyway, that's what we got. We back, we back. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh! Oh my! I told you I was coming back. You know, Mr. Consistently Inconsistent. All right. Well, y'all, um, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Um, and don't forget to tell somebody that you love them. I love y'all very much. And I'll holler at you soon. Peace.